Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn pattern printing using the star or the asterisk symbol. Here we print this pattern and you can say it a triangle shape pattern. Let's see how it looks to the skin. Here we divide the skin into rows and columns. These are the rows and these are the columns. As you can see here, stars are printed in increasing order. And if you see the picture carefully, you will find that there is a space between every two star. To print this format, we need three loops, one for row and we can write it as for row equal to one. Now see the picture carefully. The picture has five rows. So the loop will be executed five times. That's why we write the termination condition row less equal to 5 and then increment the value of row by 1 that is row plus plus. The next thing that I tell you, the stars are printed after printing some space in first row, first pin 4 space and then star. In second row, first pin 3 space then star. In third row, first pin 2 space and then star and this procedure is continue. Here we print the space using the logic maximum number of row minus current row. Here maximum number of row is 5 and current row indicate row. So we can write as 5 minus row. If we consider the first row then the number of space will be 5 minus 1 that is 4 space. For second row 5 minus 2 that is 3. So it print 3 space and so on. And we can write the loop as for space equal to 1, space less equal to maximum number of row minus current row that is 5 minus row and then increment the value of space by 1 that is space plus plus. Next we write the loop that print star. As you can see here in first row it print 1 star, second row 2 star, third row 3 star and so on. So the number of star in each row is equal to the row number. So to print the multiple star in each row we need another loop and we can write it as for column equal to 1, column less equal to row and then column plus plus. But the question is how we print the space between the star. The logic is when we print a star we print a space also means we print a star and a space together. We discuss its details in our coding section. Let's move to the coding. Here first we declare the variables which we use in our program. So I am going to write here int row column insert call space and n. Next I am going to ask user how many rows they want to print. Print f enter number of rows and a new line. Next we read the input number using scanf function. So I am going to write here scanf percent d and ampersand n. Now we start the looping procedure. Here first we write the outer for loop which runs for row. So I am going to write here for row equal to 1, row less equal to n and then row plus plus. Inside this loop we write another loop that prints space. So I am going to write here for space equal to 1 space less equal to n minus row and then space plus plus. Inside this loop we print space. So I am going to write here print f give here a space. Next we write another loop that print multiple star in each row. So I am going to write here for column equal to 1, column less equal to row and then column plus plus. Inside this loop we print star so I am going to write here print f and give here a star symbol. But I said before when we print a star we print a space also. So we give here a space. When this printf statement will be executed, it print this part. Means first print a star and then a space. Next it print this part and this procedure is continue. Let's back to the coding. 
the next thing that we need to do print a new line to go to the next row so I'm gonna write here printf backslash n our program is completed let's check the output compile it and run it enter number of rows I'm going to enter 6 and the output is this now see the output carefully there is a space between every two star let's check it for another value compile it and run it enter number of rows I am going to enter 8 and the output is this that's it hope you understand see you in next tutorial thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel